Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I'm very happy to be here today to show you Mel Fraser's journal, her Alice in Wonderland journal that she has patiently been waiting for since last summer. It is the thickest journal, that's the bottom, this is the top, the thickest journal that I have made to sell and it's three signatures, three whole pamphlet stitch. Outside cover is made with canvas that has an Alice in Wonderland print, various laces and trims and silks put on. This piece I was gifted and it works absolutely beautiful. This color is amazing. I did hand stitched loose French knots, other various stitches, different shades of Caribbean blue. I am very happy to be using Junk with Steph's various Meet with Alice kits, digital kits, as well as her scrappy blue pack. And I've combined them in this journal. I have used a book cover, front and back, and it's glued and you can't see that it, but it's actually the Alice in Wonderland book that I had gutted and used. Let's have a look inside. This is a beautiful sorry silk. I'm assuming it's a handmade little wrap. And again, it was gifted to me and it's perfect for this journal. So let's put this down. Love this just love manipulating little squares of fabric for flowers and it's hand stitched it took many hours of hand stitching and on the inside we have different layers of lace trims new fabrics vintage starched fabrics book cloth and of course my needlepoint fabric that I use for my spines. Three signatures but I like to lift it up and show you. That's the front and the back. So I have carried the beautiful Caribbean blue throughout and let's have a look inside. I love the layers. Meet Alice handmade, hand-stitched snippets, a front and a back of a uh, double sizzixed piece of cardstock. It does, if you untied this bow, it would open, but I'm not going to open it. I think it's better left unopened. I did put little little round metal circles there to secure it. It's very fragile because of the tiny cutouts. Meet Alice. Meet Alice is shades of Caribbean's, Caribbean blue and purples by Junk with Steph. I have, and every single page, every single page has a fabric hinge of an inch, so it will lay down flatter. It, otherwise, it would have been very alligator mouth. So, eyelet hinge attached to, to part of the paper and another part of the paper. I like it, adding papers to extend them. And they're collaged papers throughout. Mel is like me who just looks at books for their artwork and not journals in them. So this is an extremely over-the-top embellished journal. Not usually, my journals are definitely embellished, but this is over-the-top, hardly any room for journaling. So this is not a journaling journal. This is a, a coffee table book, a look-through book, an art book that you just look and admire. So I have, I went with the eyelet hinge, polka dotted hinge, beautiful, I'm going to call it water splashed Caribbean fabric. Beautiful printables. This is a pocket that 
I, I've made some pages from the Alice in Wonderland book. This is an, a gloss, what do you call these things? Glossine bags? Glossine bags that's folded in half. I just added some of my, I call it full washi tape. It's just Suquain tape, which is double-sided tape on some tissue. Oh, shoot a maroon. And when I say tissue, this is what I mean. Just gift wrap tissue. And I lay the Suguane tape on this, and this is what it becomes, faux tape. So that's really cool. And let's continue. Oh, we have a, I made a, are you in frame? I moved my camera by standing up. One of the cards from Jeff and Stephanie's printables. I've made a little pocket. Alice, these are, any book pages are from the actual Alice in Wonderland book and a plain little tag. It had to be quite small because this glossine bag is very thin and fragile. So please be careful. It's very fragile. So I alternate the, the fabric hinges. Eyelet, white with blue polka dots, Caribbean blue, Alice printed linen. Craft irregular shaped page, which I love. A ticket, layered on fabrics, and a snippet. Part of a tag that's made into a tab with some fabric on the back. Coffee dyed paper with a straddle snippet that is sewn onto the page. I had large playing cards and they were pink and I included them in here. I cut them in half to put them, to actually sew them onto my fabric hinge. And then I layered it with, well, first of all, I make my pages. I made my, I make my layered pages with, this one here happens to be just ivory printer paper, handmade paper and a card. And I lay them askew and then I glue them on and then I cut it down the center and I make, and I spread it apart and add a fabric hinge so it lays flat. Collaged bit, music paper, probably a hymnal book, faux tape, Stephanie's printable, blue scraps. One of my handmade pages, I have several pre made pages that. I have, and I've tucked one of these in here. It's made with deli paper, handmade paper, and grid paper. Everything is fabric hinged, beautiful handmade snippet, various laces, fabric, saris, cheesecloth, vintage butterfly edging. Printable. Beautiful pages to the printable. This is the Meet Alice. Goes so beautifully with the blue scraps. Absolutely gorgeous. Vintage hymnal. Crocheted bit with hand stitching on the snippet. I have to hold it up because it's so many pages. <gasps> Attached with fabric tape onto beautiful, I don't even know I, where I got that paper from. I stitched some pieces together as a long snippet strip and they were just individual pieces of torn fabric and they're all about an inch, piece of little lace, a very light calico, white little very thin pillowcase fabric dots so just tiny little ones and then i did a little chain chain stitch it's that's not an exact chain stitch it's called a i forget right now my brain isn't working but it's it's a beautiful hand stitched little piece similar to the chain stitch and then i glued it on one of Stephanie's parts of the printable fabric hinge, and this is the center. 
the center of all three signatures has a down the rabbit hole piece. Mel specifically wanted one of my down the rabbit hole piece and I thought, well, this is a great way of doing it. I have a playing card decorated on the back for the bit back of my down the rabbit hole page, which is taped onto a piece of music paper that has a circle cut out and double stitched all the way around and tiny little Jenny Bolin little circle. I like her papers. They're from so many years ago. I don't even know if it exists anymore. Another little circle that's staggered and it's an irregular shape. It's not a perfect circle. And I double stitched all the way around and put one of those hand stitched individual pieces that are joined together. So down the rabbit hole is the center of each of the three signatures. Playing card is the Queen of Hearts, King of Hearts, and the uh, Jack of Hearts. Collaged bit in the back, beautiful blue scrappy pit paper, along with the Alice printables, fabric hinged, always double stitched on, and the back half of that deli paper page, beautiful layering with labels and papers, vintage trims on the bottom. Love this ticking. Thank you so much, Leanne. I am so happy to have this ticking. So, so happy. And I made a fabric tab, fabric straddle tab like this with a square piece of linen. Actually, it's a yeah, square piece. This one's a rectangle piece of the ticking and a beautiful piece of ecru lace. Love how that turned out. And it's an opening page. This is old music. So I have put masking tape on at least one of the each of the folds. So you have just visual Caribbean blue colors throughout the book. This is the back half of that paper. Just love these large cards. I love how I make a staggered page, cut it in half, spread it apart about an inch, and add a fabric hinge. This is another one of my beautiful little signature signature pages that I like to make out of lead, antique ledger, craft paper, piano roll paper, a piece of fabric, and some handmade paper. And this is a library card on the front, and I've attached a tag on the back that I have folded over, so that's how you get that nice little flap. I really like how that turns. It's not a pocket. It's just... It's just two pieces of paper that are put together. Turn it over, more collage work. This is not a tuck, it's just decoration. This is beautiful collage work, handmade snippet. Beautiful collage work. This is a heavy watercolor paper. And any of the papers that have a crease in it, whether it's in the signature, on the side for a flap. I cut, separate slightly, and in this case, I've attached masking tape. That way it lays flat. It doesn't stand up like this when it's folded because it's heavy watercolor paper. I have attached a back half of a bag, those Oh, I forget this clear, clear, not clear, but relatively transparent bags. Those, and then we have a another playing card stitched all the way around with a book page and adding a part of a tag to create a little pocket. And I wanted it to be seen. Whoa, by tucking it in there. And beautiful old 
scrapbook paper drawn like vintage where you used to either paste your pictures onto the scrapbook or with the photo corners or you could draw in them on the book pages these pages love the coloring love the feel of it feels like flannel collage work and a snippet beautiful collage work love you working with the craft paper and the printables both printables of stiffs this is a neutral printable I see some of them I put neutral I tried to switch it out but maybe I forgot this one so this one's a neutral printable junk with stuff and maybe I can lay it down flat and you can see that's the first signature done this is the second signature the second signature very old book page straddle piece of Steph's neutral printables, some very heavy vellum, and some parchment paper. Handmade paper, beautiful snippets, labels. Love this handmade paper. Vinted, uh, sorry, uh, snippet. Love the irregularly torn pages. I always like to do that. An, an ivory one or a coffee dyed piece of paper and then a craft. And then you join, you, you decorate it with a printable or something to carry over the page. I really like how that looks. Beautiful different snippets. The craft paper is layered with a tissue paper that has pocket watches for the bunny rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. Beautiful ivory old paper and I save these parts. They're from bags. My uh, dollar store, very heavy craft bags. They don't put too much glue holding those straw handles, but oh my gosh, look at how nice that makes as tape. So that's a thing to watch out for and save. And a, a ruched pieces, layered pieces of fabric and hand stitching snippet. And I have a paper clip holding a collaged printable from Junk with Steph. These are all from the Meet Alice or the Scrappy Blue and Scrappy White. Lovely layer piece of... I'm gonna, I want to say ledger paper, but it's some kind of a white long paper craft lace. This is one of the Alice book pages that I just made into some sort of a card. Inside here is a beautiful snippet tucked in, folded over to make a little side tuck. Beautiful Caribbean blue cheesecloth. Love this printable. It's from some kit, that a sewing kit that I seem to include all the time. I just like the edging, the coffee staining, and the tape. I like to include that in most of my journals. Coffee dyed piece of paper with some lace, hand stitch, or machine stitched on. And remember, all the pages have the fabric hinge to lay flatter because I knew this would be thick, so I wanted to lay as flat as possible. It's going up because we have layers going up this way. Beautiful Alice in Land printables with the scrappy blue, part of the Alice, Alice in Wonderland book pages. Beautiful hand-stitched snippet. And this is a triple tag, two Alice printables and a book page, and then the opposite. Two book pages and an Alice in Wonderland. These are small little pockets. And we have the middle of the second signature, another down the rabbit hole page. Love the double sewing all the way around, the irregular circles. You get a peek behind, and this is the, must be the joker. 
or the or the jack I'm not sure one of the two and the hand stitching along the side collage beautiful digital Alice in Wonderland coffee dyed lace hand stitching lots of hand stitching on the snippets took a long time to do these variegated Sue Spargo threads pocket oh this is probably where which one maybe this one I have some <laughs> extra things and stuff that couldn't fit in there so let's put this one this one is probably an envelope and I sewed a snippet on there and I want to tuck this in here and let it sit long pocket I'm sorry a crocheted pocket and again some torn tags to make a tab and snippets to turn the page beautiful green crochet bit this was from Anna Lee back half of the craft and the stopwatch tissue tape tissue fabric snippets torn craft paper printable see how the Alice in Wonderland I just love how it how it blends and works with the blue scrappy pack of steps this is just a random printable that I had we have a very heavy vellum envelope which I've made myself and I tuck a tag in here that has been sewn on the sewing machine and I made a tiny little snippet on the top and this just gets attached with a paper clip and that staggered handmade paper that printable and Steph's paper Steph's paper is layered with a very old book page and the back last page of the second signature third signature third and last signature beautiful acrylic clock I had some metal watch clock hands I put on scrapbooking paper made a little that, that hand stitched piece as a flip I like how this worked out I'm gonna make more of these for my journals different kinds of attaching little bits and stitching them if if anyone would what like me to do a video on how I create these even if it's just for the stitches that I've used here let me know in the comment box and I can do that coming up which is the same part as this this and this I've just cut it and used different lengths in my book. Love these multi pages with the coffee stained. Annalise book pages, craft paper, cut out of, of uh, cards that I was gifted, scrappy snippet, turn the page, and I added another long scrappy snippet, that same one, this one little tiny bit of lace, the, the little bits that are sewn together. I will definitely be doing that. It works well for the edge of a page. It does not add too much bulk because it lays flat, but it adds such nice eye candy. And love, these are the old style of snippets that I used to make. Gosh, I love these. Just multi-layered pages. Um, and they're almost like triangle shapes that are staggered and layered. Just love that. That's one of my absolute favorite snippets that I like to do. And this page is made with deli paper, cheesecloth, making folding up, making pockets, vintage bits and pieces, the cards from the printable, and then I back them with these scrappy blues. So the Alice and the scrappy blues go so beautifully together multi-tape collage, the drywall tape, masking tape, and a printed washi tape. Love how that looks. And I like how my scrappy bits 
hang over the sides. I'm really going to have to make some more of these. And I'm going to have to photograph this before I give this to Mel. I just love that. Oh, Edith Holden book pages. There we go. The, the words. How lovely is that? Oh, I'm really going to have to photocopy this. Not photocopy. Uh, I am going to stick this there so at least I can take a photograph for myself. Love this multi-page. I love multi-layered pages. Craft paper, parchment paper, paper doily, fabric hinge, label. Scrappy pack blue on the back. This is a large paper bag. Very involved snippet. Meet Alice and S Santero. Santero. Santero are be is beautiful. This this is actually a package of tissue paper. I took apart the packaging, glued the tissue paper onto the back, onto the inside of the packaging, and used it as a flap for my paper bag. Love how this is folded. It's just, it just looks so pretty. And back. I've collaged it with rose paper. This is a belly band. Bingo card. Love that ticking. And a collage back. Double stitched all the way around, and it just gets tucked behind here, and the folded down. Beautiful scrappy pack blue, collaged with a lined paper that's torn, and some more of the scrappy pack blue, more of the Alice printables, Ukrainian dictionary, double stitched on. It is a little tuck. I don't know if it'll hold much, but it's for decoration. Back. And center, again, the last down the rabbit hole page is again from Jenny Bolin. It's a page that is lined and I've cut a hole in it. I just love, again, how the, how it vary, the color variation goes from sepia to ivory. Very nice hand-sewn flat snippet length with the beautiful, I want to call it a staggered stitch, but I know it's a form of a chain stitch. Anyway, irregular shape down the rabbit hole with a piece of sheet music. And it's attached with masking tape onto the page. King of Hearts, that beautiful long flat snippet. I definitely am going to be making more of that. I have to photograph that for myself again. If I don't photograph stuff, my memory is so bad. There we are. Beautiful. Love this. Layering. And we're getting near the end. And <laughs> teacups. Why? Because Alice had a tea party on the back of the paper bag. And we have a printable from Pinterest. It doesn't say where it's from. I just love this Queen of Hearts image. I have heart lace and Stephanie's printables on the back. Beautiful layered page. Craft Stephanie's printables and the beautiful snippets. Layered page again, gorgeous. These pages feel so awesome. Deli paper, three tape collage, snippet. On the other side, the deli paper and this. It's, it's a heavier form of cheesecloth. It's really nice. And again, two different cards with, I like the torn craft paper. And 
Stephanie's Scrappy Blue Pack. Tucked in here. Love, 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 love this. I'm going to have to <laughs> have quite the list here for uh, making sure I have. I'm going to make another precedent of these little blurbs. Oh, maybe I'll do. Uh, so three things I got to do before I send you this now. I'll just photograph it. Back half of the printable. And this is a nice little page I had. was gifted some of this um, cards, heavy cardstock or cardboard that has been run through a Sizzix die. I cut out this rectangle to make a frame. I put a, put a snippet along the bottom. This is what it looks like. The beautiful, can you see that heart diamond pattern? And this is coffee dyed Battenberg lace and I've double sewn it on some paper. It's a heavier paper and I've glued a printable on there as well. Back half of the layered fabrics for my cover. And that's the journal. This beautiful tie, might have even been you, Mel, that made this. I'm not sure, but we have, I have it attached, this long silk tie attached with a bulb pin, and you fold it across, and you tie it up. It's a little bit more bulky because I have my three big paper clips there that I don't want to use and love this. Absolutely love this. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will be uploading this for Mel to purchase. It is a reserve listing into my Etsy store. And the next set of journals I am working on, I have some blank journals and you'll see when I, when my blank journals aren't blank, but I call they're blank for me. So I will be creating those with book covers and putting them in my shop shortly. They'll be in there with by the end. This is Monday, so I want to have some made by the end of this week because next week on Monday, I'm starting working on my Edith Holden journals again. And I will be making them and... I, I'm i going to be listing my journals that I make for sale in my Etsy shop. Hopefully I can have journals that you could add to. I'm also thinking of creating, I have lots of different pieces that I could make little handheld journals that you can do your own stitching in where both the paper journals and the fabric journals will be the pages can be removed through an elastic so it's easier for stitching or for sewing on your sewing machine the paper so planer books in the works for this week edith holden next week thank you so much for watching thank you everyone bye for now